famous food street eats. Now this is a part of Resorts World, I'm at Resorts World, and we're gonna go eat some barbecue. Let's go ahead and go. Right. That's cool, right? All right, a lot of pl good places to eat. I'm gonna try this next time, but today I'm eating barbecue because that nacho, super nachos, sounds super duper. Where I'm going is the Blood Brothers Texas Barbecue. I'm interested. Oh, look, you can pour your own. You kind of pay for it as you go. Your pour tour. There's the... I'm gonna go with the smoked beef brisket. I'm gonna order and go sit down and we'll eat. This is what we are dealing with. Diet Coke and a beef brisket sandwich with barbecue sauce, got napkins, got silverware. I don't think I'll need silverware for this, but let's try it out, stick with me. Yeah, look at that, look at that bad boy. That looks really good, right? So the, the total was like $25, but hey, you're in Las Vegas. You're, you're gonna end up paying that for just a simple sandwich. Now that's a barbecue sandwich, so you can, you can reason that it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I am at Resorts World. Uh, prices are gonna be higher. They don't get as many clients. You can eat all kinds of different places. I'll scan it real quick. This is it. You got Nori Bar. You got all kinds of places over here. You got a bar, full bar. You got, I wanna try that street bird fried chicken next, but I ate at Blood Brothers over there. And, oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Brow. Brow. All right, so let's try this. Let's try this sandwich out. Looks good, right? Oh, it's just falling off. Look at that. Mm. That was a big bite. Oh, that is so tasty. The barbecue itself is smoky. It's a little cold, uh, surprisingly. I don't mind a cold barbecue sandwich because kind of that's the way I ate it back in Texas sometimes. But, you know, I paid $25. You would think it would be a little bit warmer. Uh, the meat is falling out of the, you can see, check it out. It's got some peppers, some pickles on it. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some of this barbecue sauce on it. Let's put a little barbecue sauce on it. Make it even worse to eat. Yeah, make it even worse to eat, but it'll be fun. All right, let's, I need napkin. Yeah, that's good. Look at the barbecue. Look at the chunks of barbecue. Yeah, I did wash my hands, I promise. And the barbecue sauce is really good. Very tasty. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this and I'll give you my verdict on it. All right, stick with me. Yeah, so my verdict is on the uh, brisket sandwich is not great. It's probably more like a seven, 7.5 at the most. Most of it was cold, ice cold, parts of it. Uh, and it was varying depending on uh, where you were in eating the sandwich. The only thing that really kind of saved uh, the uh, sandwich was the barbecue sauce. And so the barbecue sauce was nice and, and smoky and, and uh, you know, sweet at the same time. So it was kind of a sweet and sour. But the barbecue sandwich, the bun is, is lifeless. Uh, the, there are, the good side is uh, I completely finished here, here's the actual, actual sandwich. Uh, I actually finished it, uh, but I actually finished it, but no, it's not that good. It's, I mean, for a Coke and and a sandwich, a brisket, beef brisket sandwich, it was twenty-five dollars, and the sandwich wasn't really that good. Uh, the only thing, again, that saved it was the amount of beef that was on uh, on the sandwich. Uh, and the, they were huge chunks, so pretty good. Uh, but I would recommend other places at Resorts World at their food court 
there are so many other kinds of uh, things that you can actually try and stuff, but I would definitely avoid uh, the brisket sandwich at Blood Brothers. So just my opinion, I haven't tried all the other barbecue. I definitely probably wouldn't go at this time uh, because it's just like they're slinging out food, you know, with one guy behind the deal. And maybe at night it's gonna be a little bit busier and more employees. They'll take care of the food a little bit better, but the guy that was preparing it back there, uh, he was also the guy that was kind of uh, delivering the food and stuff. So, yeah, maybe stay away from it or try something other than the brisket sandwich. So that's my opinion. Uh, thank you for watching, and there's more on the way. Stick with me.